What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video, we will be looking at the two main errors of PKGJ and how to fix them. A new version of PKGJ was actually released about two weeks ago. This is now on version 0.54, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this latest version and how to fix the errors. So there's quite a few errors of this thing right now. We're just on the official GitHub, and over here it highlights the main errors. So there is an error when you refresh. If you refresh the games library and you try to install something, you will get an ITLS ENSO related error. Now to fix this, what you actually have to do is uninstall ITLS Enso. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So I'm going to use my previous video as an example. This video was showing you guys how to install it, but you can also uninstall it using this method. So what you guys have to do is go to your home screen and you have to look for the ITLS Enso bubble. What you have to do is just go ahead and you actually have to start this up. Now once you've started it, you will actually find an option that lets you install slash uninstall the ITLS plugin. So once you click on this and it refreshes, um, the, basically the plugin will be installed. As you can see on this video, I was actually installing it. So I still went down to this option and pressed X to open it. So once you press X on the uninstall, it will say working and the app is actually going to close down and refresh. So the plugin should be removed. If it's still not removed, what you can do is reopen it and try again. I would also recommend checking the plugin section and auto plugin. If you go into install plugins, you should be able to find it in here. Now it might already be gone, but if it's still lurking around, you can go into uninstall plugins and you can delete it through auto plugin as well. So for PSTV users, there is also a fix. You have to completely uninstall the anti-blacklist or any whitelist apps. Now I did do a video on this before and I'm gonna use that video as just a demo of how you would uninstall this app. So here is the whitelist app. This is the video on how to install it, but because this causes issues and there is a new app, it's pretty much pointless. So this is the one you want to install. It's called whitelist and it looks exactly like this. There is also a blacklist version that can also be uninstalled. Now, seeing as these two are now uninstalled, there is actually a new version of this app. Now, this is the name of it. I'm not going to pronounce it because if you pronounce this name, it sounds horrible, but there is also a GitHub. So if you click on this name, it will bring you to the official GitHub and there is also a release for it. This is pretty much just a replacement um, of the um, anti-blacklist apps and those sort of things. Maybe I'll do a video on this fairly soon. But there you go guys, that is just the quick error fixes, one for the PS Vita and PS TV I guess, and then one for the PS TV only. Um, also a note here, if you want to play PlayStation mobile games, you must get the PSM runtime. Um, there's actually a video here that shows you how to do it in 30 seconds. You basically just go on PKGJ, you type in PS one time and you install it. And you also have must have NO PSM DRM installed and you can get this via auto plugin. So what's new? Um, there's quite a few stuff. PSM games can now be installed without rebuilding the database. That is quite good. I did an old video on that and I did in fact have to rebuild the database. PlayStation Mobile games can be installed directly in PKGJ without Henkaku DNS. Oh, I think most people are running that anyway. Um, cover images for games. That is a very good update. And there's a few small ones here, but all you guys want to do is go to pkgj.vpk and we are going to install the latest version. So we have to do, click on this, wait for it to download, and then we can copy this onto our PS Vita. So what we're going to do now, we are going to get PKGJ, we're going to drag and drop this on the root of our PS Vita. Also, if you use an FTP connection, that is fine, you can do exactly the same thing. But there it is, now let's go onto our PS Vita, let's install it, and hopefully everything is fixed. Okay, so once we are back, we can install the latest version, and we can check if everything is working okay. So we're going to go onto the UXO, we are going to scroll down and we're just going to find a brand new VPK and we're just going to start installing it. Press X. Don't worry if you have a previous version because it will overwrite it just fine. You don't have to delete everything. Let's just wait for this to install and then we can open it and see if it's working. So let's just close out of each shell. Let's go and find the latest version. Let's just check the information of the app. If I just hold it, click on the dots, go on information. You guys can see it's on version 0.54, which is perfect. Now guys, before we even open up PKGJ, we still need to use auto plugin to refresh the config file. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start up auto plugin and you want to make sure that it's running the latest version. And once it loads up, all we need to do is we need to scroll down and we need to go into extras. 
We now need to press cross on options for config pkgj. We're going to press on this. We're going to press triangle. And what it's going to do is update our config file. Now, once this is done, all we have to do is press start. Um, you can close it down. And now we need to open up pkgj. And hopefully, it should let us get some demos. Now, we still might get an error. Um, lots of people are talking about this on Reddit. I don't really know how to fix it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go show demos. I don't really know if there is a good fix for this yet. But if you just go on triangle and refresh you might get an error but it still will show some games so yeah I don't know um, as you can see there is the error but it still lets me get stuff let me just find a small demo and I can get it uh, let me just find one for a couple of megabytes so this one, Zero Escape, that looks like an okay demo. I'm just going to press X on this one. And there you go, here is our demo. And I have no idea what this is. It appears to be in Japanese. But you guys get the idea. It still works, but there is quite a few glitches with it. But hopefully you guys are able to get it into a similar state that mine is in. I'm still able to get demos and all the files I want. Um, but obviously it's not really running the best. And it does need some like you know new updates and stuff like that. But that is pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.